I'm guessing you know who this is. Who's this? Barabbas, and this is Elizabeth, and this is the alligator. His name is Gator. Yeah. And Polly, and Hannah, Potato, and Sam. The name of my story this morning is Let Your Light Shine. Gator has been working hard at fitting into his new life at the Heffelfinger's home. He almost never jumps up on the dinner table anymore. And he remembers, when he is angry, to not show his razor-sharp teeth. They are very intimidating, so he tries to remember to close his mouth. And you might remember that the favorite snack food of alligators is lightly salted, slow roasted giraffe legs. <laughs> mm -hmm. And since Gator has left that bad place down by the river where he used to live, he has not had even one bite of a giraffe leg, especially now that he and Elizabeth are such good friends. And besides, Uncle Floyd is a good cook and they have good, nutritious, balanced diet. However, even with all these changes in, in Gator's life and in his behavior, there are still some people who do not like him. This is what happened this morning in Sunday school class while the teacher was still out in the hallway. See her over there? You can tell that's not California this time because there's no palm tree. Palm tree. So that's, that's the hallway before class started. Running chairs came prancing in with uh, Larry and Loretta, and she was talking so much as usual. In fact, sometimes Barabbas calls her running at the mouth. But So she came in saying, like, you know, Larry and Loretta, like, you know, my mommy always tells me that I should not associate with, like, bad people because, like, you know, then people will think that I'm bad, too, and that's, like, why I associate with you, too, because, like, well, like, your father is Pastor Ed and your mother is the Sunday school teacher, and, like, that means you're a PK, pastor's kids, and you're really good. Yes, and so my mommy says I should associate with good people so people don't think that I'm bad. And I've learned all the important things in my life from my mommy, from my mommy. And running chairs stopped just for a moment to inhale, and she glanced around to make sure everyone was noticing her. And she saw Gator, and she narrowed her eyes. And then she saw that little <coughs> giraffe who's visiting today, whose name is Tweeza, that has no legs, and she was sitting right next to Gator, and running chairs opened her eyes wide and said, oh my, like my mother would never approve that poor little giraffe, her legs are gone, and like, you know, she is sitting next to the very perpetrator of the crime. Gator ate her legs, and she's so stupid, she thinks they can still be friends. And now, of course, Gator did not eat Tweezus' legs. <laughs> Gator wanted to bare his razor-sharp teeth at running chairs, but he didn't. And Tweeza felt terrible that running chairs called her stupid. That's not a nice thing to call people. And Tweeza knows very well why she doesn't have legs, and it's not because of Gator. In fact, the whole classroom became very quiet. Everyone looked at running chairs, and nobody knew what to say. That is, until Barabbas spoke up. And Brabus said, running chairs, I reckon, this sounds a little bit like Uncle Floyd, I reckon you need to think before you open your mouth. You've been unkind, and what you said is not true. You should apologize to Gator and Tweeza. The room all turned to Brabus. Wow, Brabus seemed like a light shining in a dark place. When Barabbas was a baby and he got baptized, the pastor said these words, let your light shine before others so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father in heaven. What Barabbas did was a good thing. He stood up for the truth. Jesus wants no less from us. The end.